Entitled NBA star Steph Curry just ended his career with huge FU he sent to white man at game. Rich, elitist, entitled sports players who toss a ball around for a living need to stick together. Although Golden State Warriors, or Dubs, for those Bay Area people who struggle with the English language, star Steph Curry is a Carolina Panthers fan, he made his support known for has been. Unemployed 49er quarterback Colin Kaepernick during the 49ers vs. Panthers game. Curry posted an Instagram story during the game with the caption, Hash free cap. Marcus Thompson, Steph Curry with the shot. Last season, Colin Kaepernick, with the advice of his girlfriend who has deep ties to Islam, refused to stand for the national anthem as a show of a silent protest against police brutality, racial injustice, and inequality. Because we all know a contract of $120 million isn't enough to heal the inequality he feels. Although he's said multiple times that he would stand for the anthem if added to a roster this season, he's still yet to have been picked up by a team. Leading some to speculate that he's been blackballed by NFL teams because of the negative attention he drew to himself last season. Of course, any of us who followed football know very well that the real cause for his unemployment is that he just isn't a good player. The NY Times reports. Maybe Colin Kaepernick is just not that good. Whether or not Colin Kaepernick plays another down in the NFL, I'm going to say that he can achieve more off the football field than he, or anyone else in the sport, can achieve on one. Football, in the larger scheme of things, is not that important. Kaepernick. Meanwhile, has a message about crucial aspects of our frayed but hopefully repairable nation that will continue to grow. If he has the devotion to work for change, he could outclass Tom Brady, or any player you might name, as someone who did something that truly matters for future generations. But I thought it might be useful to at least consider something. The conventional wisdom is that Kaepernick, who opted out of his contract with the San Francisco 49ers after last season and has yet to be signed by another team, does not have an NFL job on account of his politics. In protest against racism and police brutality, he won't stand for the national anthem, and he's increasingly outspoken on social issues. Earlier this summer in a tweet he likened the police to members of the Fugitive Slave Patrol. NFL owners, the thinking goes, must be racists who don't like his politics, or cynical pragmatists who don't like that their racist fans don't like his politics. What seems to me more problematic than Kaepernick's not having a job is the general unwillingness to consider that this situation might be justified on the merits, given Kaepernick's current attributes, or lack thereof, as a quarterback, rather than assuming, as part of a knee-jerk gospel of victimhood that persecution must be the cause. It's not hard to make a statistical case for why Kaepernick is not playing now. He threw for a mere 187 years a game last season, which was good enough for 30th, in a league of 32 teams. For his career, he has completed fewer than 60% of his passes. Last season, 24 passers completed more than 60%. Kaepernick, at 59.2%, was ranked 26th. If you're below 60%, you're a fringe guy. More damning, Kaepernick was not asked to make difficult throws, he's not a Matt Ryan type quarterback, slinging the ball far down the field on deep crosses or challenging out troops. In the current iteration of the NFL, offense rules the day, with quarterbacks tasked to put up crooked numbers on the scoreboard. Kaepernick's job was to be a game manager, making the easiest, high percentage throws. And he still struggled. What are you supposed to do with a guy like this? What can he do for you? Can he help you win? If Kaepernick deserves a spot in the league, it's only as a backup quarterback. And he will eventually get a job as one, I bet, once quarterbacks start getting hurt. But the fact that he doesn't have a job right now isn't shocking. And it doesn't have to be because NFL owners are racists who are blackballing him. The older I get, the less I care about football, but I do care about merit, and things being seen for what they are. Life is, as Dostoevsky wrote, and it is our job to figure out what these is. I believe that's one of the core responsibilities of being human. We don't do this enough anymore. We don't ask the tough questions. 
we seek to align ourselves with what I think of as the control voice, whatever piped and monotone is dictating a given narrative at the moment. It's easy to feel good about yourself when you're patting yourself on the back for your inability to never fail to take the moral high ground, which everyone who agrees with you reinforces and enables, one Facebook like at a time. But there is nothing real about that. It doesn't matter that Kpernik doesn't have a job, it matters that so few people even wonder if there might be a non-disgraceful explanation. We have become the anti-meritocracy. We resent those who outperform us, outwork us, outproduce us. And the person who has been perceived to have been slighted? He is whom we now adore. I'd like to see Kpernik get a job, because I find him interesting, and I'd like to see if he can solve the flaws in his game as he nears 30. But I'd like even more to see all of us challenge ourselves more, in ways that are more important to the world, and to ourselves, than whether or not someone gets a job taking an ill-advised sack, or throwing the ball out of bounds so he can live to play another down. Now what makes this all even more ironic is what happened during the Warriors game against the Memphis Grizzlies. It's clear the Warriors aren't having a stellar season this year. In fact, they are downright starting to go the way of Kpernik. To the point that two of their best ball tossers lost their coli yesterday and showed the world who they really are. 2. Spoiled rich, entitled racists. Curry was ejected for throwing his mouthpiece at a white referee, and Durant was ejected right after for talking smack to him. Durant then flipped off fans who were booing them and waving goodbye in a sarcastic manner. Both players were rightfully ejected from the game. They should be ejected from the NBA for at least the remainder of the season as examples. Please share if you agree Curry and Durant should be ejected for the rest of the season for unsportsmanlike conduct. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments, comments.